Family is working to get back on their feet after losing everything in a house fire last week. News Channel 3's Miyoshi Price met with the family as they shared their story of loss and also hope. Miyoshi. Hi, John. The O'Neill family is safe and staying with grandparents in La Quinta tonight. The Morongo home is now unlivable and unsafe. They are shocked at having to start over, but feeling the support from family and community after a devastating fire. The fire broke out in Brian O'Neill's daughter's room. You can see it spreading, captured by a security camera. My kids lost everything in their room. Brian O'Neill is a single father of two children. He says he saw black smoke when coming up the hill off Highway 62. And I was like, oh, another fire, you know, in Morongo Valley. And I realized it was like on my street. And then I realized it was my house. No one was inside the house when the fire started, but his mother faced the flames trying to save their pet. My mother um, got some smoke in inhalation. She got some smoke damage uh, and heat, kind of a heat stroke as well. Um, she had ran into my house to try to get my cat um, and then ran out. The family lost the cat and she lost her beloved Mustang. Uh, that's when I guess, you know, heat too much, she fainted. He says the paramedics took her to Desert Regional, but the first responders help continues. The fire department and community members have shown support for the family. We've already gotten a bunch of clothes, so many, so they already have like half of their stuffed animals back in the short amount of time. O'Neill says this is where his children would write on their whiteboard and watch TV. They lost furniture, signed guitars by Jimi Hendrix's brother, clothes, into home because I'm trying to get my kids just back into a normal routine. My young, they both have autism. But the youngest one is is nonverbal, and you know when the routine is thrown out of whack, she has a really hard, a really hard time. And so right now she's she's having a hard time. The fire chief says by next week they should have a better idea of just what caused the fire. If you would like to donate to this family, go to kesq.com for the link. The Morongo Valley Fire Department is also a donation drop-off point. I'm live in studio on Yoshi Price, News Channel 3.